Hey, hey everybody, it's Jessica Riverson and I'm with the amazing Nicole Spencer. Hey, Nicole. Hey, thanks for having me. Yes, thank you for having or for being here. I'm so excited just to, to uh, celebrate you. So this is another one of our How She Did It interviews um, with Permission to Charge graduates. I think it's so important. I know, Nicole, you agree with me that we as women entrepreneurs in the coaching industry that we share with other women, like how the heck do we create these amazing success stories? Like what's behind it? What does it really take? Like the good, bad, the ugly, the gory details, right? So um, I'm just excited that you were willing to come on here and share. You've been successful before we met in your other businesses and all kinds of things that you've done in your life. And I've just been fortunate to be able to support you in this specific area. So I'm excited to, um, to dive in. So Nicole is an authentic marketing coach and she serves fitness professionals. Tell us a little bit about why people come to you and what you do for them. And then if you want to throw in like some of the other things that you've done in your life, some of your other businesses, we'd love to hear that too. Yeah. Well, first of all, I think people come to me um, specifically from the fitness industry because I've been in their shoes. So I was a personal trainer. I owned my own boot camp. Um, I had my own online weight loss coaching program. So I've kind of done all the things that my clients want to do or are doing. So I think that's the first reason. Um, the second thing is that my approach to marketing and branding and growing your business is a lot different from what most people are teaching um, specifically in terms of business coaching in this industry. Um, and what I really focus on is helping people become better connectors. So whether that is the way that they interact with their audience or their clients, or maybe it's um, how they express themselves and how they show up on social media or even in their gyms. It's about creating their messaging and their copy and having a really authentic process that connects them kind of at heart level to their prospective clients and their clients. And so it's just a very different approach from what you'll typically see, which is kind of a, a cookie cutter or you just need to run Facebook ads and that kind of thing. So yeah, really focused on that human connection piece. I love that. And I think that's why you and I like get along so well and be connected because you know, a lot of what you do for your clients, I spend time doing that for my clients. And I know as someone who does a lot with copy and messaging, I need someone to help me with my stuff. And so it's been fun to work with you because you're already expert at messaging and that piece of it. So to be able to come in and help you where you like to do for you what you do for people like that's fun for me because we all require support and mentorship, even if it's something that we are excellent at. Sometimes we can't like see our own stuff like we can do it for clients. We can see it for them. And then when it's like our own stuff. So how did you and I meet? What kind of made you, you talked about this heart connection. How did you feel connected to me when you heard my messaging? Like, what was it for you? Yeah, you know, I, it's kind of hard to say. So it was this weird process that I think I've described to you before. So, you know, I clicked on a Facebook ad. So there was obviously something in the messaging that resonated because my whole news feed is full of, um, you know, Oh yeah. <laughs> Similar businesses, right? So, getting, yeah. Retargeted a ton. <laughs> right, right. So, you know, you see a million different things pop up. So I can't, honestly, I can't even remember what it was, but I got on the webinar, which I don't normally follow through with. Um, and I actually watched it through to the end and um, booked a, a discovery call with you. And it was really more the conversation that we had. Cause I, at the time I didn't really actually know what I needed. I know I had, um, you know, I had my subscription business. I had, uh, I was doing one-to-one -one coaching. I knew I wanted to do a group coaching program. Um, I've done them before. I've, you know, I had a boot camp, so that was groups of, of women. Yeah. And, um, but I just wasn't number one. I don't think I was really committed to any particular timeline. Um, number two, I felt really overwhelmed by it because I always, go in with like 10 times the detail um, and effort from what I really need. So I wasn't really sure how I was going to structure it. And it just kind of felt overwhelming for me. But um, yeah, I mean, there, there was something in your copy about 
something, something about selling high-end group coaching programs. Yeah. And I thought, well, I probably need to watch that webinar so I can get an idea for structure. Um, probably did not intend to book a, a, a call with you, but <laughs> I'll just watch this free webinar and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you did. I'm glad we found each other. So I think this would be a good time for me to just kind of share a couple of pieces of information. So in the permission, the webinar that you watched actually was called Scale Like a Feminine CEO. And so I kind of went into like, you know, some of the burnout stuff that we get into and like overworking and working so hard. And I talked about that. And then I went into like some more practical, tangible steps of, hey, guess what? You could charge for a high end group program for like an eight or 12 week program, what you used to charge for private coaching. And a lot of people are like, really? And that's my same reaction too. It was like, could I really do that? And so really what we were talking about is like selling on the value, right? Instead of selling your time or selling coaching, which you totally already understood that, but it's like applying that in this specific area. And so, so you created a group program mm -hmm. and, and what were some of the challenges you said, how to structure it? Where yeah. did you where did you feel like we supported you the most? Or, I mean, you're not even quite done <laughs> with the 10 weeks. I think, I think you're just almost done, but um, you've done a lot in that time. Yeah, I think um, I would not have, I think probably the, the biggest game changer for me was the webinar strategy that you teach. Um, I always kind of thought, well, I don't really get on webinars, <laughs> you know, like I, it's not for me. I don't want to do that. You know, I want to do it. A different way but I just you know I kind of just followed the plan and um, really that was kind of my key launching point just in addition to seeing really how you could run a group coaching program because um, I think part of the reason I delayed launching before meeting you was that I just felt like I was gonna be totally overwhelmed or it was gonna be disorganized or it wasn't gonna be you know worth my time to do basically. Um, so yeah, I think structure and then the webinar was key for me. Awesome. Yeah. Did you, um, did you have any concern about like whether your email list was going to be big enough to support this kind of program? I mean, you created an evergreen program, so we didn't even do like the normal launch where it's like cart open, cart closed. You did the webinar offered discovery sessions and just started rolling people. And so like, I, I think what would be really cool to share, and you can share as much detail or whatever you want, but um, a lot of people think like, oh, if I have a small email list, you know, but you have cultivated this like highly engaged email list. So I'd love to hear like what your thoughts are about that. Yeah, I think, you know, we always think our email lists need to be bigger and our followings need to be bigger. And what I've learned through talking to other people in the industry and just kind of seeing behind the scenes is that, followers and email numbers don't necessarily relate to money at all. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, I mean, of course I had concerns about that and my business was only a few months old at this point. Um, though I've done other businesses before. So yeah, I wasn't sure. Um, you know, I wasn't sure if I was going to have to like spend a whole bunch of money on Facebook ads or what it was going to look like. But um, I think, you know, the initial conversation that you and I had just made me trust you and trust that you would help me navigate the right path. So awesome. Well, I would love to share how kind of how we did that because I just interviewed someone before you who also just graduated and got, you know, she started using Facebook ads. But when you came to me, I understood that you've been in the fitness industry for a long time. And so you actually, even though your email list was relatively small, you know, you, they're, they're engaged people and you have this, you know, people who follow you and, and you have respect, you know, you, people know that you know your stuff and they want to learn from you. And so I think what's really valuable to share is like, what I love about our group program is we, you know, we're teaching everybody, you know, here's how you do things, mm -hmm. but we're able to personalize it as well. And I think when you have a high end group program, you can do that because you're not trying to get a million people in your program all at once and then forget who the people are. Like you and I have been very connected. And so we, we mapped out this plan that, you know, your warm audience, your email list that already knows and loves you, those are going to be the first people that invest. And so, what has been your uh, sales since you launched that? Because it's been pretty exciting as, as the days go on. 
Yeah. So the, it's been about $20,000 so far. Um, and interestingly enough that there have been some, um, you know, potential clients that I spoke with that weren't quite ready for the program, but they were able to opt into my subscription service, um, which is the other side of my business. So yeah, that's been really cool. And I have um, a bunch of other things kind of in the works that I'm excited about as well. Um, Yeah, which I just never, I mean, I never quite dreamed that I would, you know, I had a gym that, that, that did 20,000, $30,000 in a month, but your overhead is, you know, through the roof when you have a gym. And so to be able to do that um, in an online business um, was pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're talking about, I mean, we run Facebook ads in our business. You know, Sade, who we just interviewed, she she ran Facebook ads. She also is celebrating like a 19K sales month this month. And um, I mean, she didn't spend that much on her ads, but I mean, you basically had to spend zero on your advertising. Yes. So, I haven't said anything yet. <laughs> so what's cool is um, when someone comes into the academy, I kind of assess where they're at. So it, you know, sometimes we have people come in who already have another business, like you have your subscription, you have your subscription business, or someone has like an acupuncture clinic or a law practice or something like that, and we're able to go, okay, can we can we enroll people from your warm audience? Almost anyone can do that. It's it's. Um, maybe unless you're just hatched out of the coaching um, certification egg or something. Um, but for a lot of us, like we have lives, we you know, we know people. And so um, we've built up a certain amount where most, most people can come in and we can like kind of plan like, wait, how are you going to, you know, reach out to your warm audience? And so we decided that you would do, you've done two live webinars or one. Yeah. Two. And I have another one this week. Cool. So just doing these live webinars for her warm audience, not having to spend any money on advertising. So guess what? Now, when she's ready to do Facebook ads, she already has a budget that she created. She didn't have to go grab it from somewhere else, like a bank account, like you created it. Now you have an ad budget. And we also have a proven webinar. We know it converts. We know it works. We have a proven co- proof of concept on your program. People are enrolling and people are excited. Mm-hmm. So what do you think's possible? Because I see... Ooh, big stuff um, because my mind just goes to like, oh my God, she's going to be doing like 50K months <laughs> and like really soon. So where do you see as possible for you now? Like where are you headed? Yeah, I'm just, I mean, I, I think, you know, uh, regular 20K months near yeah. future, um, probably 30 at some point. Um, but what I think really excites me is to, is the fact that I'm really attracting the people that I'm meant to serve and the people that I can really help. So it's just really cool because as I mentioned, the whole premise of my business is helping people to become connected and to become better connectors. And so it's kind of, neat to be orchestrating all of that and to see people getting results and to see people stepping out of their comfort zones and becoming more visible in the world um, and and helping them own their responsibility of success. Because, you know, I'm working with fitness entrepreneurs who are essentially, I mean, at the end of the day, they're changing and even saving people's lives. And I really believe that it's their duty to be successful. And even though I'm not technically in the fitness industry anymore, you know, I have that transformation passion still. I've helped people lose 50 to hundred pounds. And it's kind of cool that through my words or my coaching or whatever, I'm still having that type of impact on the individual weight loss level. So if I, something I can write yeah. or help a client write can bring people into their gym and they can have that transformation, then, you know, that's, I still feel like I'm part of that. So it kind of gives me chills because it's true. Like you are, you're still helping those people lose the 50 plus pounds and like get healthy and save their life. So they don't have a heart attack and their kids don't grow up without like a mom or a dad. Like you're actually probably helping more people now because you're bringing, you're helping these fitness professionals get more clients, change more lives. And also if we kind of scale this even up, I'm a little tiny little piece of that by helping you and then you're, you're helping them. Like that's why I love this industry because I'm helping coaches do the good work that they do. And you're helping your clients who are fitness professionals do the good work that they do. And we're just all like, we're all growing and, and 
lifting each other up. And that's why I tell people this is the best industry in the world because you really can create a very, very successful, very lucrative. I mean, we just talked about no ad costs in your case. So it's like, I mean, the profit margin on your coaching business compared to when you had your own gym. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> like there's not that many businesses where your profit margin is like 90% or 100% sometimes, right? Um, so I always say it is the best industry because we get to help other people change their lives and we get to create whatever we want and then throw in like the whole online internet marketing world our reach is unlimited so we can literally create as much value as we create that's how much money you can create so the more people you uh, which is just another tool or a resource but like the more people you help the more money you make the more you get to express who you are through like the investments and the travel and the things that you do yeah yeah so yeah i'm super it. excited for you <laughs> um just a couple more quick questions um, I have to definitely shout out to some of the other team members that aren't here. So we have Quake you on sales and mindset. We've got Ben Blackman, Facebook ads. I know you haven't started your ads yet. Um, McKenna on copy. You've got me. Is there anyone else on the team that you feel like you want to like mention, like that they helped you with anything specific or any, anything that they might have supported you in? Well, I mean, obviously, Quaco is awesome. Um, he's mm -hmm. always willing to jump on a call anytime. And um, he's just really non judgmental as well, which I like. Um, yeah. And yeah, so he's been super helpful. Um, you know, we all have mindset issues, right? This is, I think, when you choose entrepreneurship, you choose uncertainty, right? Um, so, yeah. you know, we, have to, we all need some outside eyes and, and support in that. Um, and then, um, I mean, the little that I've worked with McKenna, she's pretty amazing. And I try to like take mental notes just so I can <laughs> improve my skills. And um, Ben is just so gracious and generous. And um, my plan is to hire him at some point because um, I've seen the type of results he gets for you. And he's, I think, I think he goes above and beyond for people in your program in particular. So yeah, I, I'm just, I love the team. I think it's great. <laughs> awesome. Um, so anything you else you want to share? Like, I honestly feel like we've just kind of, I mean, we've been working together for 10 weeks. We've, it's funny because I want to say like, we've barely done anything and yet you're having awesome success. So it just seems like we're kind of scratching the surface on, all the amazing stuff that's about to like pop and happen. But is, I, I think what I just really would love you to share is like, hmm, the, can you think of any moments that have been really challenging where you felt really stuck and just give people advice on how you've overcome those? Cause you've had other successful businesses and that's what I want women to hear is like, what, how do you shift your mindset? How do you handle the really tough stuff? And, and keep going forward because a lot of people quit at that point, you know, or they get really doubtful. My key is having a coach. Like I've always, since I've been in business, <laughs> I've had a coach. Oh, I like, didn't know you were going to say that. <laughs> you know, but that's, that's, that's really what it comes down to. And that's what I preach for people as well. Um, you know, I think that there would have been plenty of times, even in the last 10 weeks, like I just, you know, maybe wouldn't have executed or, you know, wouldn't have quite known what step to take, whether that's in, you know, the marketing, my program or, you know, having the sales conversations and that kind of thing. So, um, yeah, I mean, that's my best advice to everyone is, is get support because you will quit <laughs> if you don't have someone to tell you it's going to be okay. And here's what you need to do next. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, I want I think I just realized we should mention one other thing because I have it in the title of this particular call. So, um, you know, I had, I had done a case study video right before you, as I mentioned, and um, that was with Sade, and she's doing private coaching. You actually started off the bat with the Evergreen Group Program. Can you just kind of tell people what the heck is an Evergreen Group Program and how do you, um, like just how it's structured, like how many weeks it is? And then, um, yeah, I think people want to know how have you basically been able to create a group program um, charging, you know, as much as maybe you would have charged for private and it, you know, it, we've talked about it, you know, it's not having quite as much private coaching as like, or doesn't have as much private coaching and sometimes doesn't have any private coaching 
in like these group programs that, you know, we're teaching you guys to enroll people at, you know, two, three, four, five thousand dollars for your group programs. So like what is an evergreen group program to you? And like how have you worked that into your business model? And I guess why did you gravitate towards that versus launching? Yeah, well, I know I, I used the word launching or something in this title, but technically we're not doing like the launch model. <laughs> I hate it. Um, I've done them before and I, I hate launches. And um, that's actually probably one of the things that got me to click on your Facebook ad was like, I just, you know, and I get really caught up, I think, in logistics as well. It's like, okay, well, you know, if I, I was able to see actually how you were working in Evergreen program and it allowed me to say, okay, well, I don't have to be the teacher through this process. I can create my modules that one builds on another. I do their homework. I review it. I help them um, with their language and their copy and keep them accountable. But really, um, you know, the one of my favorite parts of the group program is that we do group coaching calls. So, you know, we just had one. I just had one with my group yesterday um, and there were maybe five people on the call and it was just amazing the way they were sharing with each other. And, you know, one girl was doing a public speaking presentation and needed feedback on that. But that's something that's totally relevant to everybody else on the call. Um, you know, then there are some who are more advanced and some are more beginner and everyone's benefiting, whether it's by sharing and giving back or by learning things maybe they'd never thought of before. So, um, so yeah, people can enroll at any point and um, they have their track that they'll follow kind of week by week. Um, they have me to keep them accountable to review all of their work and then um, we get together. I, I talk to them every single week, whether um, in a one-to-one -one or in a group. So it's a lot of, uh, lot of contact. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, and I know it's only going to get better and better as you grow this thing and scale it up. And I can't sit, wait to see how everything else grows, your other like income streams and you're so entrepreneurial and um, you guys got to follow her on Facebook and tell us how, what your Instagram is. Cause you want to learn authentic marketing. Cause that's what, Nicole specializes in. You definitely want to follow her and kind of, you know, get her vibe because she's excellent on social media. So how do we how do we find you? I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here in the yeah, chat. So um, Nicole, Nicole Spencer on Facebook, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then it's Nicole dot authentic dot conversion on Instagram. My okay, Nicole is a little more active, but <laughs> Nicole dot what is it? Dot authentic. Dot Spencer. Dot conversion. Nicole oh. authentic conversion. Yeah. Just with a dot. Just renamed you. You're now Nicole Authentic Spencer. <laughs> <laughs> Either way. <laughs> okay. So find her on Instagram. And then can they so if, if they're if someone listening is like say a fitness professional, I know we have got a lot of coaches, so some of them might actually be a health coach that does this. Uh, where can they like maybe watch your webinar or download something or learn about your subscription business, which is phenomenal. If you are a fitness professional and you want someone to like, just give you the content that you're going to put out every month and it like brings you clients. That's what she does. <laughs> so where do they find all that good stuff? Um, I would actually say uh, the best way to do it is to send me a message. I'm getting my website worked on right yeah. now. Um, but yeah, so honestly, and this is a tip for everyone who thinks it can't be done. I have grown all of this whole business has grown from Facebook into my email list, into conversions. And actually I have people sign up for my webinars from my Facebook page as well. So it was kind of from my list at first. Now I'm starting to see people sign up um, just from Facebook posts. So um, I have a post, I think from yesterday, I'll do another one tonight that has a link to register. Um, my next webinar is Saturday at 11 o'clock Eastern time. So awesome. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, you guys check her out. Seriously, follow her online. And thank you so much for sharing your secrets to success and just being open and letting everybody know like what it really takes. You are amazing. And the sky's the limit. Nowhere to go but up. And uh, you're just, you're a lot of fun to work with. So I'm honored. Like I know everyone on the team and I can definitely speak for quick you like it's been so much fun to work with you. It's been an honor to just have a little piece of your journey and, and be a part of it. So thank you. And we will see everybody very soon. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>